back to our weekday devotions here at Calvary. This world can be frustrating at times. It can either be big things or it can be little things, but it always seems that there's this one thing that constantly bugs us and gets under our skin. So how do you feel about cancel culture? The idea of cancel culture, it makes logical sense. If someone or an entity were to do something that would offend or hurt somebody, the logical thing to do is to cut it out. And it, it makes sense, but that's, as Christians, that's not what we're supposed to do. And in this world, it seems that they're okay with forgiving, but not forgetting. But we know what God tells us to do. He tells us to forgive and forget. In Matthew 18, 22, the disciples asked Jesus, how many times are we supposed to forgive? And Jesus' response was, I tell you, not seven times, but 70 times seven times. And Jesus isn't telling us to do math here. He's telling us that you're supposed to forgive always. There's no limit. Now, are we just as bad as those people who want to cancel certain things? Yeah, yeah, we are. And I know I am. Because in order to say that we're better than them, that would mean that we would have to forgive perfectly. And we don't. We can't forgive perfectly because we're sinful. I mean, it seems like the hardest part about forgiving is also the forget. And it's just hard sometimes. But thankfully, that's not Jesus' mindset when he was on the cross. He died in our place and rose again, and he forgave and for God, all of our sins. He washed them all away, as far as the east is from the west, from one scarred hand to the other. And so scripture tells us how our sins are washed away. In Isaiah, it says, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. And that's what perfect forgiveness looks like. So when we forgive someone, we're giving the, given the opportunity by God to show Christ's love and compassion to somebody. Going back to the very beginning, this world can be frustrating. So what can we do about the things that frustrate us as Christians? What can we do about cancel culture? And the answer is pretty easy, actually. We can cancel out cancel culture by showing Christ's love. And we pray. Lord God, we thank you for forgiving all of our sins and forgetting them especially the times that we fail to forgive. Help us to use this privilege that we have been given to share your love with others so that they may know about your great mercy. Amen.